hi you guys welcome back to another vlog um, I'm just sitting down in my robe with my wet hair. I took a shower a little bit ago. So welcome back uh, Thank you guys so much for your comments on my last vlog A lot of you guys were like we noticed the camera quality and now I have my new microphone on Hopefully it's literally set up correctly and like functioning because legitimately this might sound embarrassing as a youtuber of 12 years But I've never used an external microphone in my entire career of YouTube um, I've only used just like the built-in microphone on my camera, which looking back that seems kind of tragic because Now I have this one. I got it for like I think I got it for like 30 or 40 dollars And it's sitting on top of my camera and I'm kind of like I feel so official Hopefully to all you like techie sound, you know people out there. You're like, oh, that's crisp I don't know but you guys I kind of want to start off this vlog just with an open like chat i feel like i just haven't gotten personal in my vlogs in a while and i've been not intentionally at all but i feel like i've been keeping my vlogs super just like routine and surface level and i haven't been actually like talking about anything and i feel like i've just been in this what's the word like routine i guess of like how i do my vlogs and it's not even necessarily like what you guys want or what i want or i don't know like i do enjoy always enjoy making my videos um but i guess i just feel like i haven't like had that i feel like i haven't like talked to the camera and had like that personal connection with you guys i got a lot of comments on my last video or like a few comments and a lot of people like thumbs them up they were kind you know they were like caring for me which you guys always are um just saying like i feel like you're kind of off in this vlog i hope everything's okay like basically along the lines of that and I guess I didn't until I like read a few of those comments. I was like, oh, like have I been off in my vlogs? Like I, I just didn't really feel anything editing. Or, so that's why I wanted to start off this one with just like a, I guess like a mini life update and just like getting real about some things that I feel like is the reason I have been more, I guess, distant and not as me in my vlogs the past few months, I guess you could say. I am not ever when i open up about things and i know you guys know this about me but if someone's coming onto this video maybe like they saw the thumbnail or and they don't really like watch me or know me i want those people and like all of you guys to know that i'm never like looking for sympathy i never like i'm not about to like break down by any means i love my life i am so lucky so blessed i truly have an amazing life and i never would want to sit down and complain on camera to seem like oh my gosh i'm like looking for sympathy or something and there's so much going on in the world that is a thousand times more important than you know me having some off months or whatever the hell i don't feel like i'm in a funk i don't feel like i'm unhappy with my life at all i am in a great place in my life i mean i have literally not felt like confused and unhappy with my life in a couple years i guess like i have felt really good and i don't feel like i'm in a bad place at all whatsoever um but let me like paint a little picture of the last like year i guess you could say so in the last year nine months actually my four closest friends that lived here in boise all moved away literally within like a few months of each other basically every one of my friends moved away to another state since one of my friends has moved back doesn't know if she's going to be here permanently but i am happy that she's currently here right like she kind of moved and then like came back and is like figuring out what she's going to do next but i didn't realize how much that would affect me and I think it really has. And also you guys know that like most of my friends are long distance friends. Like I have my good friends in Atlanta. I have my sister who lives a seven hour drive away, which really is not that bad. But at the same time, it's not like we can just hang out. Like I can call her and like hang out with her um, on, a, on a random Tuesday, you know, like we FaceTime a lot, but she's my best friend um i have some friends in la i have friends all over the country and now my closest friends that were here um moved away which i'm never gonna be like salty or anything about that because i've moved several times in my life and um you just get sad that they're not there anymore but you're like they're doing them you know what i mean and like i know that i'm gonna see my friends i can travel to see them i just don't think i 
I guess I just don't think I realized how much that was going to actually affect me. And I think it just has. I just am, have been kind of lonely. Um, and I really haven't been that motivated to do stuff. So that kind of is because of a lot of reasons. First of all, I'm sure so many of you guys can relate. It has been the winter time, you know, it's March now and I'm very excited and it's about to get warmer and it, it already is getting nicer. And I'm really excited for the daylight savings time and just for it to be spring and summer and be able to just like enjoy being outside more. Cause I'm just, you guys, I feel like I sound like a broken record when I say this, but I'm not like a winter gal. Like I don't do like skiing, snowboarding. Like I don't, I literally don't even like going out in the winter and like walking around and stuff especially at night because it's just like i don't like being cold so i'm just extremely like introverted and stay in basically the entire winter and i almost feel like i like charge up for the summertime uh so i feel like i've been basically just in like a winter blues i just don't do that much stuff and i still love my life so much like i can literally be in my space by myself and just have the best time ever. I don't feel like I'm like craving to like go out and do a bunch of stuff, but I guess it just, that is kind of one of the main reasons my vlogs are more repetitive. And I film also like when I'm alone, 99% of the time, I think I've realized this is like another thing. So I live with Jared now, you guys know we moved in together in November and I have loved living together. I haven't really filmed a lot of that and like us together, I guess you could say. And I think I've just realized that like, I actually am not 100% comfortable vlogging in front of Jared and with Jared. Like I get almost camera shy and I'm like oh I'll just vlog when he's like at work or when he's like gone or when he's like upstairs I don't know why Jared does not mind he's kind of more like he doesn't he's not anti being on my vlog but he just doesn't really like feel like he wants to talk to the camera and that's totally normal like he doesn't do this like what does he I guess have to talk to you guys about other than like if we're having a conversation you know what i mean i hope that doesn't come across the wrong way it's just he he's not used to this i guess you could say and so that's why i film when i'm alone i feel like i film when i'm just in these like lonely like winter night moods where i'm like not doing anything and it's just not that fun so i'm excited to like break that up and i will be traveling more and doing a lot of things you know this spring and summer and just like literally getting vitamin d and like going on bike rides and walks and like going to the park and just going out more. Yeah, so I, I guess I've just realized that like, I feel like my vlogs and I've been kind of like off in my vlogs since I moved in with Jared and maybe it's just because I, like I said, I just, for some reason, I haven't like broken that barrier with him of like, I can just pull out my camera and feel like totally comfortable. I always just feel, I don't know why, but I think it's just because I, I think it's because I never really like, filmed with him in the first place I never I made it almost like a really big deal to like that we were going to be on camera for together for the first time and so I feel like I always just set it up kind of strange but I mean Jared has been in videos with me before like he <laughs> is a great sport if I ask him to like do a sit down video with me like he will he's we've done a couple on my channel I don't know it's weird when you're going through like nothing but something like I'm not going through like a hard time by any means I guess I just feel like I'm just kind of coasting through like nothing's like bringing me really that much here nothing's like bringing me that much here I'm just kind of like coasting along and I'm kind of just awaiting spring and summer I guess you could say so that's pretty much where I'm at another thing that's like going back to just not I don't hang out with people that much not that I isolate myself I do not feel that way at all I feel like I get my community at this point in my life or at this stage in my life from literally going to my workout classes and that's why I've been really dedicated to that the past few months and not like fuels me even though most of the time I don't really talk talk to people other than like you know a quick few words as we're like working out together or something because I don't like know these people not that I can't talk to them but it still gives me that sense of community going to like group workout classes and I like I need that I'm literally like desperate for 
community <laughs> right now, I feel like you could say. So yeah, especially like I said, being just inside more and not like, there's just some personal stuff that's been like, that's changed, I guess you could say the past month or two that we're not really like going out out you know what i mean like going to bars and going out and stuff like that not that i ever really am like that into the going out bar life i do like it occasionally like i feel like i do thrive going out with like a group of friends every so often having like a girls night or just like letting loose for a night and like having fun and dancing and having drinks and just yeah so I feel like I haven't really had that in a while and I haven't been to a music festival in a really long time and you know I just feel like I'm missing some of the things that used to kind of like I used to look forward to more and I'm almost like holding myself back a little bit from that I don't feel like I'm trying to I just feel like I am going back to all my friends leaving <laughs> And, you know, at first I was like, fine, I, I was good. But as that goes on for months and months and months and it's the winter and it gets dark at 5 p.m. and you do the same thing every night, like I literally have the same routine and it's not that I don't like that. Like I wouldn't do it if I didn't like it and think it was good for me, but it's just a little, it gets repetitive when, um, and I'm not trying to be like, feel bad for me. Like I could go out and do other stuff. It's not like there's stuff that I can't do in the winter and I just started feeling that more with not having that many friends here and Jared has been recently the past you know few weeks few months he has been working a ton like more than I've ever like seen him work before and I just haven't gotten to see him that not that I haven't gotten to see him that much he does have like one to two days off a week um but he literally basically works like five days a week most of the day. He has been working five nights a week too. So like I don't see him for dinner. I don't see him until, you know, after 9 p.m. So I'm just at home alone a lot, which I was before. You know what I mean? Like when I lived alone, like that was my normal kind of routine, but I feel like that's just kind of what's going on with me. Like I've just been alone a lot and I, I love being alone, but I am like kind of lonely and that's just where I'm at right now. And I don't say this for, like I said, any like sympathy or whatever. I just wanted to open up about, I have noticed some comments being like, I feel like you've been kind of off the past few months and like, since you moved into your new house and I don't want people thinking that it's for any other reason. I love this home. I love living with Jared. He's a great partner, a great roommate. I feel like I don't show him and like talk about him that much in my, maybe I talk about him, but I don't like show him that much in my videos. This man is amazing to me and I I'm really like, I have a great life. I'm really grateful. I'm really happy. I think I've just been caught up in the winter blues. That's what it is. And I got to admit it to myself and it's okay because I'm so happy that it's March now and there's so much to look forward to. And like, just literally the little things like the sun being out for an extra hour every night, like that alone takes me from like here to here. Like I am soaring sky high as soon as the sun is out till like you know 8 p.m or i don't really know what time it's gonna be out until but you know what i'm saying so this was long like a little intro um what time is it 125 okay i need to go get ready because in 15 minutes i'm leaving for a workout class which it's very random that i showered and did a tan before a workout class but i'm going to work out at two o'clock today which is so I don't think I've ever taken a workout class at two o'clock. That's so random. Um, but I wanted to take a class at the YMCA today and I was either going to do 12 o'clock or two. So I signed up for both and I decided this morning I could make it to the 12 o'clock, but I kind of want to have some like time to myself before. So I'm going to do the two o'clock one. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to kind of have like a little make myself happy moment after that. Like I working out always puts me in a good mood and going to my classes. And after that, I'm going to go probably get like a Starbucks. I might try and go get like lunch or something, pick up something and just have like a little driving around 
afternoon to myself because I know that will just make me happy. And it's not that I'm not happy. I, I just feel like I gotta like do things to make myself feel good. You know what I mean? Not that I'm, I'm not, but I've gotten, this is like another side note, but I just feel like I've gotten so wrapped up in my little routine. And it's like, am I even setting aside time for things that bring me pure joy like am i even prioritizing that stuff or am i literally just prioritizing like emails and doing the dishes and doing the laundry and i've really been in that routine of like obviously those are things that you just like have to do but i feel like i only think of those things i hope that just gives you like this is where i've been at the past few months i'm gonna go upstairs and i guess i'm gonna go to this class with wet hair unless i maybe i'll dry my hair for like five minutes before i put it up for class okay i'll talk to you guys um probably in the car okay i do not have a good place to put you guys in my car i just realized like if i try to put you here which is like the normal camera spot the microphone hits the windshield and the viewfinder hits my screen in the front of my car if i put you guys here it doesn't stay so literally the only place i can think to put you right now which is super zoomed in is on top of my steering wheel so i don't have to like hold the camera like this that class was like not it i'm so sore i don't know i take the class all the time body pump but i did it like a new teacher today a new time i don't usually do it at two and i did a weights yesterday at orange theory sorry i'm so distracted this parking lot is always like death I think I'm just gonna actually talk to you guys later because I feel really uncomfortable. But just know that the workout was not it. Today was just so hard. I'm so sore. Everything felt like two times harder than it usually does in that class. I'm hungry. I want a smoothie. I think I'm gonna go to Panera. I was trying to figure out where I wanted to get like a sandwich or something, but I also want a smoothie. I kind of also want coffee and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna go to Panera and get like whatever because I feel like I can get all that stuff there. And it's right by Nordstrom Rack, which I need to go to to pick up a pair of pants that i ordered online <laughs> a pair of jeans um no please don't pull it next to me okay i'm going because there's too many people in this parking lot i feel really uncomfortable with this giant camera hi guys i am home now i'm sitting on the floor this is really not the best angle or background everything's just like messed up on the couch but i wanted to sit on the floor today is not it <laughs> I just like am not in a good mood today and I have no idea why I was like excited for the day and stuff I was like I'm gonna have like a cute errands day and like get lunch and get a coffee and I don't know I just don't feel like that I think like I didn't have a good workout and I'm really sore like I was saying so I'm just in like a bad like I just feel bad so I'm in a bad headspace and stuff. I literally don't know why, but I don't want to sit on here and complain for no reason. But I went to Panera. I didn't film that because I was so, I think you could tell in the clip I filmed. First of all, I was all over the place after the gym. Second of all, I was so hungry that I was like hangry and I cannot vlog. I've said this before, I cannot vlog when I'm in those moods. So I just literally ordered Panera and I sat in my car and watched a YouTube video and ate alone in a parking lot. And that is what I needed. Um, I got a coffee and I came home and I put the rest of it in this Yeti and I added foamed oat milk because the coffee was pretty shitty. I got a cold brew with almond milk because they don't have any other non-dairy milks and it's just bad like i know i've ordered that before and i haven't thought it was good but yet i ordered it but my sandwich i ordered was actually amazing i don't think i've ever had it before it was called like i got the you pick too so i got soup and a half sandwich and the sandwich was the star it was like the chipotle chicken avocado i feel like i've ordered that before but i don't actually think i have because it was so good so that was like the highlight of my afternoon, honestly. And then I went to Nordstrom Rack, like I said, to pick up my pair of pants. I guess they just shipped it to the store. I thought it was going to like get to the store quicker than my house, but I think it was about the same time. So I probably won't do that um, again. So I'm going to do a haul for you guys because I have this and then I have a couple other things that I, of course, I looked around if I hadn't looked around at Nordstrom Rack when I was there, you know, 
could have gone gone out which is this but i decided to look around and go to the bathroom which made me see all these rags of clothes also just i don't know what's going on here but this is it today i ordered a pair of jeans from made well i'm looking at them because they look like a little bit darker than what i ordered online um so i don't have that many jeans i order jeans from new in my newly boxes a lot but i literally own three i own three pairs of jeans and one of them is from madewell and they are actually comfortable they're like a stretchy material um i really like them the only thing is they're like one size too big so i wanted to get a pair of madewell jeans the same brand that were just one size smaller and hopefully they would like hug me a little better these ones i'll have to try them on um, maybe I'll like wear these tomorrow or something. This is the classic straight. So we got a size 28 and hopefully that will be uh, that will be it. These actually look pretty similar to the ones I have. So I'm definitely going to like try them on and see. The light's a little weird because my window's over here. So it's kind of like nothing's coming in here and then it's like glowing here. Um, but yeah, we'll try these on and we'll see. And I got ugh, heavy because I got a... Uh, carried away in the candle section they actually do i think they have like a good selection and good prices on candles you guys know i am always using them so i buy a lot a lot of candles and i don't i really don't like spending more than like 20 dollars on a single a single candle because i burn through them very quickly it doesn't matter how good the scent is like it's gonna die you know, like the candle will die in not that long in my home because i just always oh, burn them so Nordstrom Rack has good like big candles which is what I like because they burn for longer for not that much like all these I got for well I'll tell you I'll read you but first I'll show you because this is on top the little clothing piece that I got I went to the bathroom and I passed this on the way there and was like I think I want that it's a little pastel I love the colors on this this is like this is just like my color scheme we have like a clay beige and then like the lilac it's so good so i don't have any little like sweater vest like this this is just so cute so i got a size medium it's from the brand abound okay let's do a candle haul they're all i was sniffing candles in there for like 10 or 15 minutes i will admit this one is eucalyptus leaf look at this packaging oh y'all know i'm the suck i'm a sucker for a good candle packaging also i feel like i've really been looking at this and not the viewfinder and i or at the viewfinder and not the lens i forgot so please forgive me i'm still adjusting um look how fucking cute this is and big we love a big mama it smells really good this is giving like bathroom candle vibes which i've started burning candles in the bathroom and like when you go in there it's like you get like hit with a scent not in an overpowering way i feel like more just in like a this is a good bathroom scent vibe so this one's so good this was 16 dollars 97 which i think is good for like this size of a candle and i will definitely definitely keep this jar when this is done and like i could put like cotton balls or like literally anything but i love repurposing cute candle jars it is truly actually one of my favorite ways to like get a free container, a cute container for something. Okay, this one, she is iconic. The brand Illuminaria, and this is Desert Peony. And look how fucking cute this candle, even this little thing is cute. This is good. This is like, I smelled all theirs from this brand and they had a lot. And I think personally, this one was my favorite scent. It was also $16.97 burn time of 72 hours see that is what i like to see this is probably the biggest candle i got and you know what i think i will actually return to nordstrom rack for candles because like i said pretty good prices and they get like big ones okay and then i know i've had this one before and i really liked it it's honestly another like bathroom shower candle bath time candle natural home ocean mist it is a coconut wax blend. Let me get a sniff of this. Oh, that is good. That is good. And just simple, really clean packaging. This one was actually only $12.97. Comparable value, $28. Like, can't relate to spending $28 on one candle. I hate that. Like I was saying, like, 
any more than 20 is just like mm. especially for this size this isn't even that large so i'm very happy with my candle selection these are all really cute and neutral so they'll like match everything and lastly i got a package this morning and i've just opened it this morning but i didn't really like do like a full unboxing because i knew that i was going to start the vlog today so i got a new purse in the mail however you know she's rented so uh you guys know that i love renting my clothes on newly it is like it has changed my life i talk about it so freaking much so i won't do that in this video but i have wanted for a while to explore renting handbags um there's not that many services that i know of that you can rent bags but there are a few different ones that you can pay like a monthly cost to rent a high-end bag i mean the, the prices depend but you can literally like rent a chanel bag for a month or six months or something like that and you pay you know like a monthly price which is much 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 cheaper obviously than like the cost of the actual bag if you were to own it you know i had a phase where for a long time the past few years where i was like not really into purses at all i wouldn't even really bring a purse out i was super into just like putting my phone my chapstick and like my wallet in my pockets and hopefully i had pockets or i would get someone else to hold it like i went through a phase of that for a while sorry i'm getting off topic but but the last like six months i have gone much back more into purses and handbags and just like wanting to treat myself so i have bought a couple handbags uh resell bags so getting back into handbags has actually been like really fun for me i for the most part i like little bags because i still don't carry that much stuff um like keys a chapstick um my phone and my little card holder which is very small that's really like all i need so anyway <laughs> going into the purchase i'm not saying i'm gonna necessarily rent a different bag every month and like commit to that i might just do it every so often when i want when i want a specific one so this is what i used bag borrower steel literally they got like i think they sponsored the sex in the city movie because remember um what was her name louise louise from saint louise <laughs> she like had the louis vuitton and she was like i'm renting it and then carrie gave her one i literally think bag borrower steel like sponsored that movie and this is who i selected um again it's a mini bag it's very small but you guys this is like I was saying, this is all I need. I love tiny little purses. Like I love a shoulder bag. I love a little crossbody. And recently, um, since I got back into bags, I've just been having a Louis Vuitton phase. Like I cannot get over it. And guys, this bag is so cute to me. First of all, it's neutral colors. It's like the giant monogram. It's bigger than the usual monogram. So these are some of their newer bags the giant monogram print i personally really like it and what i love about it too is it has removable little straps here which that's always great because you can carry it like this i love like carrying a bag like this and just being like i feel like a dainty little barbie when i carry a bag <laughs> Like, like this like a top handle bag um but i also it's very functional to be able to do a crossbody moment darling this is not what i would wear with by any means i don't know how much these retail for but i have looked a little bit and it's what you would expect louis vuitton is expensive thousands of dollars and i rented this for 120 it was on sale whenever i so they have sales on the website which is great where they'll have the bags discounted for a monthly price and then you get 20 percent off your first order and it was my first time i believe i'm able to refer you guys i'm not affiliated with them at all this is like no pressure at all just in case any of you guys are interested in something like this i'll either have a code or a link i don't know exactly what their referral program is but i'll put it on the screen and down below in the description box if you guys want to take advantage because i saved a lot and the best part is i don't have to commit to buying it like after a month or two i'll be like i'm probably gonna be over this bag like i've used it i've taken a lot of pictures in it and i just send it off back to you know someone else to rent it i feel like this was the longest haul of my life i've been filming for 20 minutes like why this whole vlog i just started this vlog and it's already like um <laughs> a 40 minute long vlog of me just talking so <laughs> 
Maybe I'll have to put chatty vlog in the title. Do you guys like, be, be honest, do you guys like when I'm more chatty in the vlogs or when I'm like a little more co, not cohesive? Well, I feel like you guys know what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm going to chill for the rest of the afternoon. Hi. It's a few hours later now, actually a lot of hours later. It's 9.30, I've just been playing The Sims and watching some Hulu and YouTube videos and unwinding. And I did a very basic dinner tonight. Also, I don't know why there's shit all over the counter. I don't know what that is, but I was lazy and I decided to make Annie's mac and cheese because it always hits. So that's what I did. It's my favorite like lazy dinner and I just love it. It reminds me of childhood. All right. Let's get these goods in here. I don't have that much butter left. Should I just should I just put it all in? I think it's supposed to be the two tablespoons and that pretty much is what that looks like. So I'm also out of oat milk, so all I have is heavy cream. So I'm just gonna do like a little bit because she's a little heavier. This is the Annie's way cheddar. I feel like it's just my fave, and I like to add a little bit of like spice to it. Red pepper flakes start with that because I'm probably gonna add hot sauce after I need these two. Okay, I added in some Trader Joe's green dragon hot sauce as well as a little bit of sriracha and she is done. What a night. Saturday afternoon and we just had some breakfast and I've just been having like a slow morning just listening to some music I got kind of like ready today I'll have to give you guys a little um outfit of the day at some point I'm wearing my new sweater vest also I tried on my new jeans and they did not fit I took a picture so I'll insert it basically they fit everywhere except the upper like above the butt which was super weird because the ones I'm wearing now you can see these are like the 29s that I was talking about and they really only get loose after I wear them for like a few hours or so like right now after like the wash and stuff they're more like firm I guess you could say but I just thought it was so weird that it was the same brand I got a size smaller and they fit completely different so I'm definitely just going to return them and I'm going to make some zucchini bread muffins I've never made zucchini bread before I've had it before and I've really liked it I don't know I feel like it was something that I never had really like growing up or whatever so I never like learned to make it or had it that much so this is my little setup so cute I lit one of my new candles this one's so pretty this one might be my favorite one the desert peony I lit that up and this is my book that I used last week, the Kamut baking book. And so that is, you know, you, traditionally you make it in a loaf, but I'm pretty sure like, cause it's just gonna be a batter that I could make it into little muffins. Cause I want to kind of have them be more little like one serving, I guess you could say. I feel like that's a thing that I've seen before, like zucchini bread muffins. So I think it should be totally fine. So I'm gonna use my Haraway pan that just made a loud clack i'm gonna use this and hope for the best um here's my zucchinis uh i don't really i've never like peeled and grated zucchini before but we're gonna do that i got these last week and then i had everything else because it's just like basic baking essentials my oven's preheating and i guess we're just gonna start grating some zucchini
Okay guys, I am stirring together final dough. The dry ingredients were just added slowly to the wet ingredients and it is looking, mm, it smells good, it looks good. Just gonna give it a final little go here. These are the muffin pans. It's said to make a cinnamon sugar mixture and dust like the pan. So I dusted just like the bottoms and sides of the little cups and then I'm gonna sprinkle the rest of this on top because I really like sprinkled sugar and stuff on top of the muffins right before they go in. guys first batch is out of the oven and they came out of the pan so easily i probably didn't even need these muffin cups but it definitely made it easier and they got really puffy but i feel like it's like the perfect amount of muffin muffiny puff i filled them like probably three-fourths of the way filled and they look so good i'm really happy with them i think i let them bake about 30 minutes i checked them at 20 and then 27 and it wasn't completely ready so i gave it like two more minutes and it looks so good. I haven't tried one yet because they're still, they're still um pretty warm. I know this might sound crazy, but I think I'm kind of one of those insane people that actually prefers <laughs> when it cools down for baked goods. Like, don't get me wrong, if I'm really hungry, I can definitely like you know go in on a warm chocolate chip cookie or whatever. But I actually think I prefer baked goods cooled cold <laughs> i don't know if that's crazy not like cold but you know what i mean room temperature so i'm probably gonna wait like 30 or 45 minutes to try one um and i still have more batter so i don't know how many i'll be able to fit it looks like probably at least six or eight so i'm gonna keep these babies going i also made some rosemary simple syrup while these were baking i made this for the first time like a couple weeks ago and we've used a ton of it it's in the fridge and it's so easy you just make a normal simple syrup so one cup of sugar one cup of water mine's a little darker because i have like mixed sugars like a white and a brown sugar and you just add some rosemary uh twine no twigs i don't fucking know whatever these are sprigs <laughs> i was close you guys um you add a couple rosemary sprigs and let the sugar dissolve turn it off the heat let it cool and then you can remove the rosemary sprigs i'll probably remove them in like five or ten minutes um and then you can like strain it out into a mason jar and keep it for a few weeks in your fridge this was the one we were using and i only made this probably like when did i make this i guess i made it on valentine's day so like a little over two weeks ago and it was filled and it is like almost gone it's been really really good so definitely try making that all you need is some rosemary and sugar and water so really not much um and it's really good for cocktails and mocktails we've been making both lately hi you guys it is i think it's like 4 45 now the afternoon is flying yeah it's 4 40. i just took squirtle on a walk it was actually pretty windy out it like seemed like it was kind of nice outside because it was sunny and 52 degrees which is like warmer than it's been it was so windy i like zipped up my entire puffer coat and was like nope like this is still just not it <laughs> but you know it could have been worse it could have been 20 degrees so can't really complain too much <laughs> jared went to work we were hanging out today because he actually like didn't have to go to work this morning and he's been going doing double both of his jobs since tuesday of this week he's been working roofing which is his main job and that but they don't but they don't do it in the winters but they've recently just picked up again and then he goes to his restaurant job in the afternoon and night times he didn't have to work earlier today so we actually had a few hours to spend together so he made breakfast for me and we just kind of chilled together while i made the zucchini bread which is why i wasn't really like talking through it we were like listening to music and just talking so i just filmed like through it but those turned out so good like i don't taste the zucchini at all which i guess is kind of the point because you don't want to be like there's just a random vegetable in my muffin but they're so good. I would highly recommend. Again, I'll try to put that recipe if I can find it online in the description box down below, but I'm sure you could also just look up zucchini bread muffins and like could find something like that. Sorry, I'm like shifting around so much. I am in the office now, as you can probably tell. I'm going to film 
a reel with my newly box that I actually got this a few days ago. I just re like put in this stuff because I've actually already worn one, two, three, four. I've already worn four things out of my, I think I got seven things in this box. Yeah, usually you get six, but I got a bon bonus item this month, but I'm going to film a reel like trying on this stuff. Last time I did that, but I just showed the stuff like in the mirror on in my bedroom and the lighting wasn't very good. So today I want to take advantage of like having the sun coming in. Sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I, I don't know why. Sometimes when I just talk to the camera for a while, I just, I get out of breath, but I just keep talking and I don't take breaks. I have the windows open and I have my little like tripod thing that'll hold up my phone. I've definitely been enjoying making reels more. I feel like I was really opposed to short form video. I've talked about this for so long because I just don't really like see myself as a TikTok girly but something about making a reel and like i already have like a nice supportive audience on instagram it's just like fun and it's a different way to like switch it up from photos so i really haven't actually been uploading any photos to my instagram for a while so apparently i'm a real girl now but i don't know i like it it's fun and it's a good way to also show stuff that is like it could have been a youtube video but it doesn't necessarily perform on youtube i feel like it's fun to do stuff like that in real form so i will be coming out with some like I need to put you back on the thing. I will be coming out with some like fun, potentially nostalgic reels for you guys that like, I'm just gonna say like, I wanna bring back some sort of like old YouTube videos kind of and see how it goes. So in the next like month or two, I'm definitely gonna try to bring in some like nostalgic YouTube into my reels and just bring that stuff back a little bit. So look out for that. And then after this, I'm gonna go do some errands. I wanna go drop off that return of those jeans and then i'm picking up something at target that i did like an order pickup because it was cheaper than shipping it to me so i'll just pick it up from the store and then lastly i think i'm gonna go to winco i don't need much but i definitely like found that we're kind of running low on some things already so i'm not gonna do a big grocery shop but just like a mini one i think it would be good to just do that Okay, I'm gonna go out and do my errands now. I don't think I'm actually gonna bring my camera. I could just film on my phone if I wanted to, but my cam this new like mic and stuff doesn't really fit <laughs> in my car anyway. So like, I'm probably not gonna even really film much when I'm out. I'm only gonna go to Nordstrom Rack and to, um, to go back and return the jeans. And I'm gonna go to Winco. And I think that's it. I was gonna go to Target, um, but they don't have my order pick up at that store and I was thinking of driving to the other store but it's literally 20 minutes each way just to get I want to get a new pair of um oh mine are dirty but measuring spoons so it's something really small you know what I mean so they said they would target offered to ship my order for free because they told me they had them in stock and then they didn't so I just had them shipped here so I'm not going to go by and do that which is probably for the best anyway because if I like even go into Target, I will be tempted to look around and you know, I've already been there legitimately twice in the last like three weeks. So we don't, we don't need to return. So we're just gonna get those few groceries, return the jeans and come home. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm on my phone. The quality is definitely not as nice. It is 724. Um, I'm letting my battery charge up for a little bit over here because I'm actually going to record a Green Chef integration for, it was supposed to go in this vlog, but the brand wanted to like push it back a couple weeks to another vlog. So I'm still gonna record it since I have like, I already got the food um, and I really wanna eat it. I'm starting on the rice right now, but that will actually be in a, vlog in like two weeks or something like that to that actual like part that i'm filming tonight so i need to let my camera charge up because i got home and was like oh 
I don't have a backup battery for this new camera yet. I actually ordered one today, but it's not here yet. It is so essential to have a backup battery as a YouTuber or a vlogger, um, in my opinion. So I don't know why I didn't get that yet, but she'll be coming in a few days. Anyway, I had a good journey out. I returned my pants and I went to Winco, like I said, and I got home right as it was pretty much getting like dark, dark. There was a beautiful sunset, which I filmed that for a minute when I was driving because oh she like took me i feel like there hasn't been that good of a sunset in a while anyway let's do this mini grocery haul i am doing it on my phone like i said but didn't get too much so this will be pretty quick to show you guys here we go this is the winco haul today so for produce i was only out of a few things so i got i feel like this is non-focus it just looks weird i feel like doing this compared to my camera but whatever this is this is what it is tonight um some potatoes a red onion a tomato a sweet potato and three little avocados um this is some bulk sugar i didn't want to open it just because it's like close to the meat and stuff but bulk sugar i used almost all of it making that zucchini bread today so we'll refill my little jar Pillsbury Crescents, that was a complete impulse buy, but I love having these every so often and a little treat. Um, I also use almost all the butter, well, the rest of it that I had today. So I do buy like a real butter for baking and then I buy vegan butter for kind of like toast and the day to day. But I feel like this usually performs better um, in baking, like the sticks. Okay, I got some pork chops kind of random these like thin pork chops probably just gonna keep this in the freezer until jared and i do some grilling i got eggs some romaine the earth balance the um, organic one i got some yeast because i am excited to make some more recipes in that book some dave's bread i just wanted to get some bread for like sandwiches and stuff it's good to just have like sliced one and then these oh love these just ran out of these trader joe's uh has some that i usually get but i feel like they're all the same the hash brown oh my god okay. my water's boiling okay 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 i hear you i'm starting on this because i'm really hungry so i wanted to start on the rice we're back anyway the frozen hash browns i really enjoy eating these with like some toast avocado toast some bacon just so good with some eggs they're great I got a Planet Oat Extra Creamy. I've been going in between this one and the Chobani Plain one. Um, so I got this one this time because it was on sale at Winco. I got one wine, just a Rosé Portlandia. I don't really need any wine. I have wine, but I brought two over to my friend's house this week and we drank all the rosé and another one, so I wanted to replace that. I got more Dr. Pepper for Jared. I got some chips. These were like an impulse buy, but I think I want to make homemade onion dip tomorrow. I looked up a recipe, and it looks pretty easy as long as you have onions and like sour cream and stuff, which I actually have that right now, even though I'm not a big sour cream girl, but randomly we had it for some recipe i was making so i want to use that up and make some onion dip tomorrow so i use greek yogurt or like vanilla yogurt in my smoothies and like protein shakes and stuff like that so i got a restock of that and lastly i used almost all of these today so just some paper baking cups to replace what i used that is the little Winco grocery haul. Well, I'm going to be filming this little integration for the next vlog, so I guess you guys won't really see this part, but just know that I'm going to be cooking for the next probably hour or so. I'm going to put this stuff away. I'm going to cook and then and then I'll show you guys like the end product even though like like I said it'll be for the future video. This is what I'm making, creamy chimichurri pork bowls. I'm very excited. Everything I've ever had from Green Chef is really good. And so, this is like a new recipe. Well, all the ones I got are new. I haven't tried. So. just say i was eating good tonight i had a really good dinner i'm super full now i really want to just relax for the rest of the night i'm gonna quickly just do these dishes there is kind of like a big mess it's not that bad actually but i just want to get these dishes done and out of the way i'm not going to vlog that and then i'm just going to probably watch something and just relax until jared gets home from work it's been a good night i'm happy to be home and just 
I love a good night in. Honestly, I love like a good weekend night in. What can I say? Like, who can relate? It's Sunday and I just got back from a workout. I got a matcha, an iced matcha with oat milk on the way home. Pretty good. And Jared made me some chicken breakfast sausage and then I just threw in half a bagel and a frozen hash brown, with some ketchup. And we're having a little breakfast moment. Mm -hmm. He's having one of the muffins, the zucchini muffins. Tell them how obsessed you are with them. They're so good. <laughs> I've like honestly never seen you get really like excited about a baked good. No. You're not like that much of a like a sweets person, but something about <laughs> Did you heat it up? <laughs> oh, wow. I almost put butter on it too. So I went to work out. It was quite hard. I went to a 12 o'clock Sunday class. I feel like I work out like every few Sundays or every other Sunday. It's not like super typical, but I do like... The 12 o'clock class on Sundays. Um, I'm gonna eat breakfast. We're gonna see what we're gonna get up to today. It's really not like that nice outside. I'm just, you know, soon hopefully, but it's still kind of cold and stuff. So we might just chill around the house. We might go and do something later. I'm not really sure. So Hi guys, it's Monday. I just woke up a little bit ago and I wanted to end off this vlog. I didn't end up filming much more yesterday, but kind of just wanted to have like, you know, a day off with Jared because um, we don't get we haven't been getting that much time together lately like i said so we just had like a cute day we made some homemade onion dip i'll insert a picture of that and then we went bowling played some arcade games and we went to like a late night dinner and it was so fun um it was just like a cute date night i feel like we haven't had like a little date night in a while so it was fun um i'm wearing my cow from my from my newly <laughs> this month. Uh, if you guys wanna check out my reel that I did, I uploaded it yesterday, cause I didn't show my stuff like on YouTube that I got. And I think it turned out really cute. I've been having more fun with like making reels and stuff. I don't know, I'm editing off the vlog here. I'm literally like on the floor, <laughs> like kneeling. I just made tea. I'm about to start editing this vlog. I hope you guys liked it. I feel like even though it was like only, I I only filmed for like a couple days. I feel like it was pretty long. Um, so let me know if you guys liked it and give it a thumbs up if you made it until the end. I love you guys so much. I'll have my Patreon linked down below and on the screen if you guys wanna check out my other content that I don't post on YouTube. And I will see you guys very soon in another video. I love you so much. Thank you for watching. Bye.